In nearly 50 Minnesota cities, the only source of daily local news is a radio station. Those small town stations are important to their communities. But Pam Island reports many of them are having trouble now staying on the air. The October hogs up 82 points at 4572 in December. Gaining to city people passing through, small town radio stations may sound downright corny. There are hog reports, over the air classified advertising, even lost dog announcements. But in at least 47 Minnesota towns, those corny sounding radio stations are an essential part of the communities. And we have a weekly newspaper and a weekly shopper. But if you want to know what's happening within the community on a daily basis, the radio station is the only media. But these vital, essential links are beginning to disappear. Slowly, small town radio stations are going out of business. It happened in Ada, Minnesota in June, when KMCA abruptly went off the air. Along Main Street, KMCA is sorely missed this summer. And uh, now we have to go too far to listen to their stations and we don't get that home atmosphere and it's... To me, I think it, we lose a lot. It's hard of, it's hard of Ada, hard of Norman County. And what happened here in Ada may spread across the countryside to other small towns. A record number of radio stations are for sale. Broker Mel Parity says they cannot all be sold, and eventually some will have to sign off. I would like to say uh, no, but I, I have a feeling that, yes, we probably will see more than, of that. Broker Parity says radio station owners in small towns are feeling the same troubles that have plagued farmers for years. And those depressed rural economies are forcing small stations to fade right off the dial. Probably one of the most important things that a small town has going for it is the radio station. And I don't believe necessarily that the people understand that or appreciate that until something happens and they do go off the air. In Ely, Minnesota, understanding and appreciation came clearly into focus one day in April 1984. WELY, which operated from the basement of its owner's home, suddenly went off the air. Jean Larson told Ely the bad news in her 7 a.m. newscast, and then she turned off the transmitter. I told them that it was just a matter of finances. We would have to close down. We had no alternative. But business people and residents made an alternative. They quickly raised $9,000 and got their hometown station back on the air. An equal housing lender. Three years later, contributions still keep this station on the air. Twins are home against the Cleveland Indians tomorrow night, 7.05 start time. People take radio for granted, like they do their lights and electricity, and you don't realize how much you miss what you've had until you go to flip the switch and it isn't there. I had people tell me that they didn't even know their neighbor had passed away because the obituary would come out in the newspaper the following week and the funeral would have been over. And That's an obituaries. example and we do obituaries every day. And every day WELY keeps its own obituary from being read. Ely is happy because as they learned here once before, when the lone radio station dies, a part of the town dies, too. Pat Milan for the Eyewitness News Update, Ely, Minnesota.